May 2021 was a dark day for cryptocurrency. In the wake of the unimaginable rise in digital assets, investors have experienced the largest virtual currency crash in its history. There were several reasons for this decline, but the main blow was caused by China, where about 70% of all mining farms are concentrated. The country's leadership introduced large-scale restrictions on cryptocurrency and evaporated $1 trillion from its global capitalization in a couple of days. Farms, which consume over 120 terawatt-hours of electricity annually, have experienced a shock comparable to the atomic bombing of the financial sector. You're on the Innovative Tech channel. Right now, we will tell you why China has declared war on cryptocurrency. The history of cryptocurrency is closely related to the Middle Kingdom. The digital currency gained wide popularity in 2011 after Andy Greenberg's article published in the authoritative edition of Forbes. While Bitcoin was gaining popularity and capturing the hearts of many around the planet, the leadership of the People's Republic of China was eyeing a new payment system. It was well understood here that cryptocurrency possesses enormous advantages and can completely reformat the global financial structure. In China, they also realized the risks associated with the total anonymity of Bitcoin. Therefore, back in 2014, there were rumors that the PRC was working on creating its own digital currency based on cryptographic data processing methods. The project was officially named DCEP – Digital Currency Electronic Payment. According to experts, the leadership of the Asian state expects this to strike a blow against the dollar, displacing it from the electronics payments market. In 2019, the head of the republic, Xi Jinping, said that blockchain technology is one of the priority areas of China. Following this, the former head of the central bank, Zhao Jiaochuan, spoke about the purpose of the crypto yuan. The national currency is created for use in electronic payments related to retail trade, as well as for cross-border transactions between various financial institutions. Alongside this process, the secret life of cryptocurrency developed. Despite the existence of rather strict restrictions on working with blockchain technologies, China very quickly became a world center for mining farms. This was facilitated by several factors at once, including cheap electricity, the concentration of production related to video cards, and even the customary closeness of the celestial empire to international society. What happens in China remains in China, so to speak. As a result, by 2019, two-thirds of the total capacity of mining farms were located on the territory of the Red Dragon. Moreover, the owners of cryptocurrency assets in most cases were Western investors. This led to China not only becoming a kind of center for the financial payment system, but also for criminal schemes related to blockchain technologies. In May 2021, China dealt a powerful blow to the positions of the crypto. In a moment, the state regulator banned financial structures such as banks and various network payment systems from conducting transactions that involve virtual currency. At the same time, mining itself is not prohibited, and individuals have the full right to own digital assets. In tandem with the statement of Elon Musk, who criticized the miners and announced Tesla's refusal to work with the crypto, the effect was devastating. In just a few weeks, the cost of Bitcoin fell to a four-month low from $64,000 to $32,000. In fact, the Celestial Empire, together with the American entrepreneur, cut off the multi-month growth of Bitcoin and other currencies using blockchain technologies. According to the Bloomberg experts, one of the main reasons was the rapid increase in electricity consumption in the northern regions of the country. It, in turn, provoked an increased demand for coal, which forced many suppliers of this raw material to launch illegal mining of fossil fuels. The mine owners did not wait for official permission from the authorities and deliberately violated the laws. As a result, the number of accidents at mining enterprises has significantly increased, and the increased volatility of the crypto has led to instability in the coal market. However, before us is only the tip of the iceberg. Because the leadership of the PRC looks at the situation with Bitcoin and other currencies in a comprehensive manner. It can be noted that in addition to the attack on popular types of crypto, China in test mode launched the Digital Yuan project, as mentioned earlier. Currency transactions with DCEP became available to financial institutions in several large cities, 
Chengdu, Suzhou, and Shenzhen. This currency is supported by major Chinese banks, as well as popular payment systems like WeChat Pay. And this whole process started a month before the introduction of tough sanctions against other representatives of the crypto. The reason lies on the surface as the e yuan is the only digital currency controlled by the Central Bank of the Republic of China. In other words, it is a centralized system, as opposed to Bitcoin being completely anonymous and untraceable. Although the authorities of the Celestial Empire focus on the criminal component of popular currencies, as well as on their destabilizing effect on the economy, the reality is different from these statements. The PRC leadership intends to take over the development of state cryptocurrency from the United States. This will strengthen control over the population, depriving it of any financial independence, as well as undermine the stability of the dollar. Local authorities are well aware that digital currency will not stop growing in the near future. Moreover, there is a high probability of an almost complete transition of international payments to virtual path. And when that moment comes, China will offer the world a crypto yuan, which is used by several billion people, as well as the entire economic sector of this country. The reins of government will be in the hands of the Celestial Empire. All this is a continuation of soft power, Chinese expansion into the world financial, industrial, and cultural spheres. It is for this reason that the strict restrictions introduced by the People's Republic of China relate specifically to the provision of services related to the crypto. No one is going to destroy mining farms, as their potential for the Red Dragon is obvious, and two-thirds of digital currency mining businesses are a great reason to completely reformat the blockchain sector. Despite the Chinese sanctions on cryptocurrency, this will not lead to the death of Bitcoin, Ether, as well as other virtual systems. This industry is too attractive for investors to start giving up making money as the market transforms. It's interesting to know that in 2020, American traders earned over $4 billion from Bitcoin. At the same time, China made a profit of $1.1 billion, which is significantly less, but also impressive. What is really important is it is a signal for other countries to introduce their own digital currency as soon as possible. The United States and European countries will have previously worked on their versions of virtual money, intend to speed up this process. All this will lead to further legalization of crypto and the introduction of clear rules for its mining and turnover. There is no doubt that more than one currency storm lies ahead in the vastness of the digital financial system. What are your thoughts? Is it necessary to introduce state regulation of crypto and create centralized payment systems based on blockchain technologies? Please share your opinion in the comments below the video. Click on the like button as well to subscribe to the Innovative Text channel. See you soon and take care.